On this episode of China Uncensored, China and North Korea are at war. Uh, war of words. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Chinese leader Mao Zedong once said China and North Korea were as close as lips and teeth. Well, it seems like someone may have bitten their lip. China and North Korea appear to be fighting via their state-run media. A commentary last week from North Korea's state-run Korean Central News Agency, or KCNA, warned China that it should not test the limits of North Korea's patience. In fact, China should thank North Korea for protecting peace and security of China, foiling the U.S. scheme for aggression by waging a hard fight in the front line of the showdown with the U.S. for more than seven decades. In fact, in fact, China should really think about how its reckless act of chopping down the pillar of North Korea-China relations could have grave consequences. Boom. The point is, North Korean state-run media has put China in their crosshairs. Now, while that may seem shocking, keep in mind, usually when North Korean state-run media puts something in their crosshairs, they do it literally. This follows an escalating war of words between China and North Korea, proving once again that the pen is mightier than the sword, or at least more than North Korea's failed missiles. The Chinese Communist Party, for its part, has been getting more and more unhappy with North Korea, especially because it's shown the world that the superpower wannabe can't even reign in its little brother. In February, the Chinese regime announced that it would suspend all coal imports from North Korea for the rest of the year. State-run North Korean media responded that China was dancing to the tune of the U.S. I mean, it didn't say China. It just said a neighboring country. It could have been any of the many countries that neighbor North Korea. But then my favorite party mouthpiece, the Global Times, responded that even harsher sanctions against North Korea are in order. Last month, it said the North Korea nuclear issue is like a puzzle filled with bombs. In fact, I believe we have video of someone trying to deal with that nuclear issue. Okay. 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 No. Kids these days don't know what they're missing. Anyway, the Global Times also said Beijing can strike back at any side that crosses the red line. Yeah? Well, North Korean media responded with, Is it really that great to dance to another's tune? Is it unnamed neighboring country? Is it? Actually, that does look really great. But moving on, this month, Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece, The People's Daily, wrote that North Korea put itself and the whole region into dire peril. And then North Korea's state-run KCNA put out the commentary I mentioned in the beginning of the episode. Only this time, they actually did name names. Yes, it's China dancing to the tune of the U.S., Oh, that was for all of us who were confused about which of North Korea's many neighboring countries has recently changed its stance toward North Korea. Well, Global Times responded with a not-so-subtle threat to end the alliance. And then North Korea responded with, wait, what's that, Shelly? Okay, I'm being told we have video of the latest exchange. Let's take a look. It has come to our attention that a certain neighboring country we were total BFFs with through the shared blood of our martyrs has totally stabbed us in the back by dancing with an evil imperialist country when they knew that we liked them first, and we totally want our friendship bracelet back. This neighboring country is the worst. It has come to our attention that the so-called DPRK is being totally selfish with all of their stupid nuclear weapons because a certain leader is jealous that his dad got to hang with Bill Clinton and he had to settle for Dennis Rodman. Also, you can have your stupid friendship bracelet back if you stop subtweeting us all the time. That's so basic. We don't understand what subtweeting or basic are, but we would like to officially say that we're rubber and you're glue. And whoever smelt it, dealt it. Whoever denied it, supplied it. That went in a different direction than I was expecting. But you know, it is comforting that in this time of rising tensions, some forms of communication are universal. 
But still, things between North Korea and China remain not great. And since China has recently told its citizens to get out of Dodge, I guess the lips are curling back and baring their teeth. What do you think of the war of words between Chinese and North Korean state-run media? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time on the dance floor.